In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of trees in networks, and in particular, spanning trees. And we need to do this before we look at minimum spanning trees and calculating or, or determining a minimum spanning tree using either Kruskal's algorithm or uh, Prim's algorithm. So first of all, what is a tree? Okay, so they're not the biological kind. In fact, there is a relationship between a tree in a network and a biological tree. And there's a reason why it's called a tree. A tree is a type of network where there are only paths between any two vertices. Okay, so you need to think back to what is a path? What is meant by a path? A path is a special type of walk. Okay, in other words, there's only one way to go from one vertex to another. It's not multiple ways. Uh, basically, what this means is that trees do not contain cycles or multiple edges. Okay, let's draw some examples of trees. So, as an example, if I was to uh, okay. All right. okay, that would be a tree. All right. So, in other words, to to go from any choose any two vertices, for example, A and C. There's only one way to get there. To go from A to B, there's only one way to get there. Okay, so it's not like there's multiple ways of going between any any two um, any two points. Uh, maybe we'll, let's, let's draw another. So one, two, three, four, five, and what we might do, I might draw that there, that there, and that there. Okay, now. Uh, in fact, sorry, I should just probably put that E there. Yep, maybe make that E. Uh, B up there, C and D. Okay, five vertices. Is this still a tree? Yes, it is. It's not a connected tree though. Okay, so remember we in we, we talked about connected and uh, unconnected or disconnected networks. Okay, or non-connected networks. This is an example of a non-connected tree. In other words, there's only one way to go from A to E. Sure, that's, we can accept that. Um, but there's no way to go from A to anywhere else. However, to go from B to C or B to D, of course there's only one way to do that. So this is still a tree, okay? But it's not what we call a connected tree. Now this is, you should probably start thinking about, well, where does the word spanning come into it? Okay, so these kind of networks, these kind of trees, we don't consider. Now, if you take a, a biological tree, and as I know I did mention a, a biological tree um, earlier on in the discussion. Uh, in fact, if we, if I drew a, a biological tree, what would a biological tree look like in terms of a network? In fact, could we model a real tree with a network? Well, probably, okay. That could be the roots, okay. And there's a, probably the, the trunk and there may be several branches okay coming out of the uh, from the trunk of the tree or, or from the main uh, main stem or okay so i might just put vertices there okay this is also a tree because if i was to label um, in fact just maybe do one more there just because i can um, if i was to label all these vertices the F G H, uh, make that I, J, yep. To go between any any two, pick any two vertices, there's only one way to get there. So every walk is a path, okay? There are no cycles. There are no multiple edges. You can't have this either, okay? So we can't have this sort of situation. So let's say, uh, let's say okay, that, that's a tree, but you can't have this, okay? That's a multiple edge, okay? So that... Is not allowed in other words it's not a tree it's something else but it's most certainly not a tree yes it's a connected network but it's not a tree okay so the emphasis is on a tree and and that particular type of representation okay all right let's have a look at the next uh the next slide okay <clears throat> this is where we talk about spanning trees now now that we know what a tree is a spanning tree is a connected network Okay, we can't have this uh, situation where there's uh, two subnetworks and there's a there's a break uh, between them. So there's no way to get from one part of the one part of the network to the other. So it must be a connected network. And again, the same rule applies in terms of the definition of a tree. Uh, there can only be um, paths. There's only one path between any two vertices. 
In other words, there are there can be no multiple edges and there can be no cycles. Okay, so examples of, of uh, spanning trees. So if we had four vertices, okay, for example, I might just label these A, B, C, D. Okay, A, B, C, D. Okay, pick any two vertices. There's only one way to get to get to to get from that vertex to another. So to go from A to D, uh, the path will be A, B, D. To go from A to C, we can only be A, uh, B, C, for example. So it's not like there's a cycle or you can take two different ways um, to, to go from uh, point A to point C. Okay. Notice that between these two diagrams here, okay, um, the, the edges are different in terms of their placement, but it's still a tree. So there's multiple spanning trees that are possible um, given any any network. Uh, this one here, uh, so this, this diagram at the bottom here, this is not a tree, okay? And it's not a spanning tree, um, for that matter. Because it's not a tree, it's not a spanning tree. So why is that? Because we have a, we have a cycle, okay? So this B, C, B, C, D, okay? This cycle there stops it from becoming a tree, okay? Yes, it's a connected network, but it's not a tree. So if it's not a tree, it can't be a spanning tree, okay? So if a tree is not connected or, or disconnected or unconnected, there's multiple, multiple ways of saying that, I guess. Um, so I might um, actually go back to this slide here. Okay, so if you remember this diagram, um, actually, actually, I'll just draw a different one. Okay, so if we had that there, okay. This is a tree, but it's not spanning, okay? It's disconnected or it's unconnected, okay? So for a tree to be spanning, there has to be a way to go from any one, any between any two vertices. Pick a vertex, there's got to be a way to get to every other vertex, okay? Or else it's not, it's not a spanning tree. It's not, it's, it's, uh, it's a disconnected tree. Okay, so hopefully we've defined spanning trees. We'll go just one more point though on spanning trees. Okay, a network can have many spanning trees. So if you have this network here, okay, that will take our famous four vertices, A, B, C, D, in that square. Um, there's no fifth vertex, so these edges that cross over, um, there's no vertex in the, in the center. How many spanning trees are possible? First of all, this, this particular diagram is not a tree. Okay, it's sure it's connected. Sure, there's ways of getting from any, uh, between any, uh, any one vertex to another. Um, but there's, there's cycles and, you know, sort of too many cycles here and, and it's just not gonna work, you know. So in fact, if it's got one cycle, it's no longer a tree, so it can't have any. But there are several um, possible spanning trees. We've already seen some. So we could have, in fact, um, you might want to think about how many different spanning trees, um, in fact, are possible with this arrangement. We could have, there's one possibility, okay, so A, B, C, D. That's one possible spanning tree, okay. We could have another, okay, we might have, might have seen some in a, in a previous example. I think it was on the previous board um, slide, so we could have, you know, like that, okay, BC, we could have not something like that, and the, and, it, and the list goes on, so yeah, there's, you could probably draw them all out in fact, but here are three possible spanning trees for this network, um, this network ABCD, okay, so yes, there's more than one, all right. Now, one last note, and I think it's really good to note this. Look at all these spanning trees here in green. We've got four vertices, how many edges are there? Each one of these diagrams, okay, each one of these spanning trees has three edges. So if you were to, um, for example, have a, a, a five vertex network, how many edges would it take to make it a tree or a spanning tree? Okay, so, one thing to note is that a spanning tree has one less edge than the number of vertices. Okay, so therefore, if there are n vertices, there are n minus one edges. If there's 10 vertices, there'd be nine edges. Okay, five vertices, there'd be four edges. Let's prove the point. 
Okay, at least with five five vertices. In fact, why don't we go uh, six vertices? Okay, so let's draw a a uh, spanning tree. Okay, we could even have a star set up, for example. But I'll I'll do something uh, something like this. Okay. Would you agree that this is a spanning tree? There's no cycles, there are no multiple edges. There are only paths. And all the vertices are connected. Okay, so this is a connected network. And it's a tree, therefore it's a spanning tree. Right, how many edges do we have? One, two, three, four, five edges. Okay, if you add another vertex, you need to add another edge somewhere. Okay, there you go. So there's um, seven vertices, six edges. Add another vertex. Okay, Oop, we have to add another road. So basically every time we add a vertex, we add, have to add an edge. In fact, the simplest, absolute simplest spanning tree that we could have, that, that involves at least one edge, is this one. Okay, two vertices, one edge. Every time you add a vertex, you have to add an edge. Add another vertex, at an edge, okay, and the pattern continues. So that's another very useful, um, a, a very useful little fact in, in networks, and especially with spanning trees. In the next video, we're going to look at minimum spanning trees. So if we give these weights, for example, or give a network um, a weight, now in fact, just bear with me. I'm just going to rub out the board, okay. So just to show you what I mean, so. Let's draw our famous four again, A, B, C, D, and, okay, this could be, these, these edges could represent, uh, for example, um, the cost of, of building a road in, in uh, millions of dollars, okay, 45, let's say that's three, uh, let's say that's five, and let's say that's 17. What would be the cheapest road network that we could build that connects town A, town B, town C, and town D? And that'll be explained in the next video. Thanks for watching.